Uh, today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about our fall products and what common questions we get asked at farm shows. So our first product is our 360 yield saver. Uh, the question we get all the time is how many acres will they last? So you can see the yield savers are a new chain and brushes. So the brushes will eventually wear out. Um, what we're typically seeing is around that 150 acres per row. So if you have an eight row corn head, that would be about 1200 acres, a 12 row corn head, about 2000 acres, six row corn head, about 1000 acres. So the next question is, how do I know when they're wore out? If you can take your finger and be able to run them down in between the brushes, um, then it's probably time to replace them. To replace them, uh, you don't have to replace the chain. All you have to do is just replace the brushes. So you can get the brushes separate. Um, there's a screw that goes down through here. So you just slide these on and then screw them in. Um, another question is how long does it take to, to pay for, for them to pay for themselves? So if we do some simple math, say you had a thousand acres of corn, um, you're gonna save a minimum of two bushel an acre. You know, as that corn gets drier, I've seen that number go up quite a bit, but let's just use two bushels. So that's 2,000 bushels, and if we go with $6 corn, you know, that's $12,000. The cost of this system, if we use a John Deere corn head, um, after a $50 instant rebate, you're at 600 bucks a row. So 600 bucks times eight is $4,800. Uh, these things more than paid for themselves in year one. The break even, doing the math, again with two bushels per acre and $6 corn is, you need to have 400 acres of corn and able for it to pay for itself. Next product, fall product here, is our 360 chain roll. Uh, this is an amazing product. It just works very well. Uh, big question I get is, what are we trying to accomplish with it? Well, with the chain roll, we're trying to size it to that six to eight inch long stem. Uh, the reason we want that is we want it to stay put. We don't want confetti that's gonna blow away. And we also wanna be able to move it out of the way with our row cleaners when we come in and plant with it the next spring. So six to eight inch long pieces. Uh, you can see the cutting knives right here. Um, there's two sets of cutting knives on each roll. And then we have these other crimping um, teeth on here. And so about every inch and a half, they crimp it. So as the stalk dries down, it breaks open and now microbes can get in and break it down. So it breaks down very fast, but it's also, we keep it sized right so it's not gonna blow away, end up in the road ditch or fence line. Um, and then also we can move it out of the way with our road cleaners the next year. And our last fall product I'm gonna talk about is our 360 bullet points. Uh, big question I get is, do they pull harder? Well, if you look here, this is obviously a wider point than a lot of the traditional OEM ones out there. And we are doing a lot more work. If you move all the loose dirt out behind your ripper, if you're using OEM points, you're gonna have this hard berm in between the points. If you use our 360 bullet points, you can see we are basically eliminating that berm. So yes, it is gonna pull harder, probably five to 10% harder, um, especially that first year, as we're breaking up that hard compacted berm um, that's traditionally there between our points. Uh, what's the benefits of that is if we get rid of that berm, now water can drain that much quicker. Um, your fertilizer, your everything can get, has access to the whole soil profile. So it's going to be able to, to get down into the ground instead of having to go around this hard berm.